Hi Capricorn, March 2023. Okay, so this is for you if you're Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. And this is for, as we said, March 2023. We will look at whatever comes up. Could be love life, could be career, could be all of the above. I'm using the Mythic Tarot and I'm going to take a couple of cards that tell us what energy you are bringing into the month. Okay, so we're going to do that first. At the end of the reading, very exciting times, I'm doing a mini pick a card reading for you. Okay, so stay tuned for that. That will be at the end of the reading. Um, you can choose one, two or three. So have your question ready for your own personal situation. Ooh. Let's have a looky see. So the cards that you have for the energy of coming in, and this is a general reading, by the way, I should always say that. It's a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it turns out to be your story, as ever, there will be an extended reading and it's the first link in the description box. Okay, Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. These two cards have more in common with each other than you would think. So some of you might be dealing with an air sign and bringing that energy into the month. Let's just zip it up a little bit so we can see more. King of Swords traditionally represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but also the King of Swords represents, it can be authority, it can be bosses, it can be legalities. Um, he's got his sword of justice and he's got his scales. You know, this is, this is not somebody you would want to kind of be on the wrong side of, really, if this is to do with, say, a work situation. It can be somebody where if you were going in and asking them for a raise, they would have had your file. They, not only would they have your file, but they've been on your social media for the last 10 years and, and found every embarrassing thing you've ever done. It's that kind of thing, okay? So if this is a work situation for some of you, there is a need for you to get your ducks in a row, to get your details completely straight. Let's say you are asking for a raise or you do want something or you're looking to um, do a CV and get onto a different job or something like that. Be very, and you are normally anyway Capricorn, I don't really need to teach you know the grandmother to suck eggs on this one, but the devil's in the detail. Okay, and we may be seeing the devil card come up later, um, but the devil's in the detail. For a few of you, this is about your love life and the nine of wands is about boundaries. And the king of swords is about boundaries too. King of swords normally has no trouble in the boundaries department. In fact, it's the opposite thing with the king of swords. They need less boundaries. They're so freaking boundaried that you can't get near them and they can be a little bit um, unavailable, a little bit just tricky to manage and sometimes, and you can see this, they can be a little bit detached. I mean, there's snow on their mountains, okay? And again, in a business sense, sometimes, sometimes this is seen as being good and sometimes it is in order to be professional sometimes we do need to be detached, especially when we're dealing with something that's difficult. But in a romantic sense, hmm, I'm not so sure. So just take note of the ice caps here, you know, because there may be somebody that you are puzzling it out over when it comes to boundaries and how to I want to say protect yourself. This is also, and we'll, we'll know when other cards come up, such as if the devil comes up particularly, because that's in my mind. Um, the King of Swords can be, have a streak of narcissism sometimes. So some of you may be dealing with narcissism and it may be with a specific person, but it may be that it's just in your life. You know, sometimes this happens. I don't know if you experience this where, you know, you get a narcissistic boss or there's a narcissistic person at work and then 
you find you go into a shop and there's a narcissistic manager and you end up having a row in there with the same sort of person and they keep cropping up in your life in different disguises. So it could be that some of you have that as well. Let's have a look, let's unpack it. Okay. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. Virgo got that one. <laughs> Devil's in the shuffle. Oh, that card's trying to hide. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, interesting. So in the middle here, this glorious card, the Nine of Cups, love this card. This is Aphrodite and Eros and Cupid here where they've reunited after a period of strife. I was saying this to Virgo actually. These two have a bit of a battle. They kind of get it on in the Two of Cups and it's, you know, you put the phone down first, Netflix and chill and all that. And then Three of Cups, like, oh yeah, let's take our love to town. And then Four of Cups, they start, mm, there's this mm, kind of energy creeps in. And Five of Cups, he goes, he buggers off, that's it. He leaves her on the conjugal couch. And from the Five, Six, Seven and Eight of Cups, he's not in the picture. He's unavailable and she's waiting for him. And then we get the Nine of Cups and this is like a union card. And it's blessed by massive Aphrodite here, and we love this, you know. She's Amazonian, they're sweet, we're all happy. Jupiter in Pisces for the Nine of Cups. It's the emotional wish card. The universe is asking you what you want. Now, notice that the Queen of Swords has turned up. And of course, she's the counterpart to the King of Swords. What I'm interested in, Capricorn, is whether you have to be Mr. or Mrs. Frosty Knickers in order to fit in with somebody else and whether this is really you and where is the warmth and what's in it for you. And I feel like these questions are coming up. If you're looking at particularly love life and relationships, Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I think are very, very lucky for you this month. You may, of course, be dealing with an air sign because we've got loads of air sign cards. And if you are, I feel it's a bit more of a struggle. It's a bit more of a mental battle. There's a bit more um, of a power struggle going on is what it is. With the water signs, I feel it's a bit, it's simpatico. You know, there's a very smoochy energy. Let's have a look, I can't speak this. I can't even say what it is today. I can't speak today because I can't even find the word for today. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this across because the sun has completely disappeared outside. It will come back now, it always does that as soon as I open the curtain. Seven of Pentacles, I like this card. You're finding a way, this month you will need to find a way um, to work together with somebody. And again, this could be a project, it could be a work thing, it could be relationships. Seven of Pentacles is where two people are getting on. You know, they're making something work together, they're sharing the burden of something. They're both taking a part in it. And for some of you, it's about communication. And the King of Swords, sometimes you find that with the King of Swords, let's say it's a romantic situation, you can find that you're communicating more than they are. Let's say it's a work situation. Do you ever get those bosses where you find yourself blabbing. You know where you, maybe you're in a meeting 
maybe it's like a one-to-one -one conversation and you know what you want to ask for you want to ask for some time off or you usually want to ask for a raise some time off or you know whatever it is um and something about them makes you all of a kerfuffle and you start blabbing and blabbering and you're like who is this person you can hear yourself um it feels a bit like there is some inconsistency in communication, whether it's in a romantic relationship or a work relationship. And you need to find your feet in terms of expressing yourself clearly. And I do think as well that if you can do that, you will get the spoils. To the victor, the spoils, as they say. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, yes. Then we get this strength card. Generally, Capricorns are very good at boundaries, okay? It's something that's written about in the star sign because Saturn is about boundaries, you're ruled by Saturn, and every Capricorn I know is pretty good on boundaries. But like the rest of us, we all have vulnerabilities Sometimes we have vulnerabilities with a particular person at work. Sometimes, very often, we have vulnerabilities in the love department. So we can be like the big boss at work. We can, many Capricorns are leaders. And when it comes to love life or friends or social situations, we can be like, Ugh, don't really know how to put that like I would to an employee or to a fellow employee. Here we have the strength card, and this is know thyself. There is something that you need to overcome within yourself. And I think it's timidity. I think it's the inability to be able to speak up with this King of Swords person. Now, the King of Swords may not be someone specific, but it may be a pattern in your life of not being able to speak up when your boundaries are being trespassed upon. Now that won't be for all of you, but by God, it's for some of you, okay? The word trespass is really channeled for me. Ooh. Leave me a comment if that resonates or hit the like button if that resonates, okay? You don't have to leave me a comment, obviously, if it's private. Some people might not want to. But just say, yes, that resonated if it did. And hey, you can say, yes, that resonated if it didn't. Make me feel good, you know, butter me up. But actually, no, just say, because that's very potent. And the Ten of Wands. We get the Ten of Wands when we've had enough of something, when we're burnt out about something. And often it takes a lot to collect all these sticks. It's like, yes, I'll do this for you. Yes, I'll do all the talking. Yes, I'll do all the organising. I'll do this, I'll do that. I'll take this on. I'll listen to you for hours on end or whatever it is. I'll help you fill in that paperwork. Um, Capricorns are very often... I mean, I never met a Capricorn. And let me know if you are one, but I never met a Capricorn who couldn't get their paperwork done who couldn't get something in on time. You know, it's a very Capricorn trait that you can get shit done. You just do. And sometimes people flock to you, lean on you a bit to get their shit done. And sometimes you don't mind because you like them and that's fine. But sometimes it's just proving to be a bit much. And that's what the Ten of Wands is. Let me just close that curtain because inevitably we have some sunshine. Let's have another look at your love life here and then I'm going to do the pick a card reading. What I'm going to do is make myself disappear so that you can see that square. I'll be back in a minute. Ooh, cripes. Well, that's a turn up. Those of you that watch my dailies and do come and watch my dailies, funnily enough, they're out every day. Um, will know that I very often pull two tens together. 
So, and these two quite often appear together. So, do you remember I said that Eros and Psyche had had a bit of a rough ride of it through the five to the eight of cups, inclusive? Then we get to the nine and we've got some cause for celebration. Well, the next one on is when they kind of, I suppose, get married or whatever, you know, they officially have the union in the temple. Ten of Cups, Mars in Pisces, or the Chica Chica. I mean, it really is. It's decent. If you can, I want to say, win the battle of communication or at least ride out this battle of communication, you will be rewarded. And if you can't, I think you move to the Four of Cups that we have here. And you may become disillusioned with the prize, which is good. Because maybe if you can't be an equal in this situation, then you don't want the situation so much. You know, Four of Cups, you sort of slide into, well, I'm not even sure I want this now. But let's look on the positive side, okay? There's a heck of a lot of potential when you get the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is a delicious kind of energy. It's a beautiful thing. I love this. Particularly with water sign people, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or if you have water in your chart, like a moon in a water sign or Venus in a water sign, then yeah. This is very much for you. But this is a, this is a, see how this energy with the yellowness is very different to the energy of this King of Swords. Now, sometimes when you have the King of Swords, I'm just finding the cards here. Um, sometimes you find that there can be other difficult cards that come up. But you know what? They didn't. So I'm not getting the feeling that you're being manipulated or that this King of Swords is deliberately holding out on you, okay? It's just a person who finds it difficult to speak their truth. Let's do your pick a card reading. Okay, I'm gonna use the Ansata Tarot, which is this one. Mages only deck. We're gonna have number one, number two, and number three. That's number three. Ooh, if you, ooh, eesh, oof, not going to say anything. Keep your mouth shut, Gemma. That one. Okay, we're not doing reversals with these. And you get to see my paper cutouts. <laughs> Made them myself. And I'll remain off screen while we're doing this just so that you can see them because otherwise I'll bite into that one. Okay, so take your time, pause it if you need to pause it, and see which one you are attracted to. Okay. Try not to overthink it, and let's begin. Number one. In the extended reading, by the way, I will also look at these further and clarify them. Ooh. Get the moon card. Now, traditionally, the moon represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, in particular, Cancer. As you can see, we've got the symbol for Cancer there. See if I can go a bit closer in, and I can. These cards are beautiful, aren't they? I would say, because we're in Pisces season up until the 20th of March, which is good for you. It's a good, you and Pisces are very simpatico energy. I would say, number one, that there is something you very strongly and emotionally desire and 
it is within your reach, but the answers are a little bit obscured in the same way that the moon is, and also are a bit unpredictable in the same way that water signs can be, perhaps with the exception of Scorpio there. But not entirely. I would, and we've talked about this before, about some Capricorns being like seahorse creatures, like a goat with a sort of fishy tail. Um, I think you may fall into this category and it is your dreams and your, what I call the weird stuff, because I've got my moon in Capricorn and I've got Mars in Capricorn, so we can call it weird stuff because it is and we can still do it and appreciate it. It's in your dreams and your tarot and all that kind of stuff that you're going to get the answers, okay? Not in the 3D. And some of you might be dealing here or have um, a water sign in your chart. Number two. Oh, yes. Right, number two. You've got to get your big boy and girl pants on here because you're dealing, this is Aries, it's the Emperor, it's Zeus, you know, all of those kind of things, but it can be also the boss. It's also a power dynamic card. And <laughs> who's gonna be the Emperor? That's what I'm getting for you. There's a power struggle going on and I think you know how to win it. And if you don't, fake it until you make it because it's gonna get there anyway if you do that, okay? But you need to be you know, like they have the emperor's new clothes. You need to be in the guise of the emperor. You need to at least look the part or do one of those. You know, you can do those things like there's always people on TikTok where you do like power poses. Yes, I am the champion, that kind of stuff. I know you like Gemma, for God's sake. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Okay, so be the emperor and you're gonna find you're gonna get what you want. But it's all about body language, how you walk into the room and how you hold yourself. Oh, get on. Number three, you get the strength card. So this for you is about knowing your limits with somebody. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but also you have strength that you never even knew you had. You may have been attracted to card number two because these two are quite similar. But this one, this one is more of the sort of externals, divine masculine energy. This is more of the divine feminine energy where you kind of work out what's going on inside yourself and in turn, that energy becomes more powerful. So in other words, you get into your divine feminine energy, which you might have been feeling didn't count so much in this situation, but it does. It counts for more. Also, I think number three, you're really picking up here on this nine of cups and 10 of cups, because I'm kind of getting strength moving towards the emperor, this divine feminine, divine masculine sort of union actually. And I like that, I like the polarity of that. Um, it feels lucky and it feels right. Oof, gosh. Right, okay, I am gonna go and do your extended reading. Um, it will be the first link in the description box. Leave me a comment about any part of this reading that has resonated or just anything that you have to say, any information you need about the channel, about the extended, about any other readings or whatever it is, can all be found underneath where it says more. You click on that and you'll get into the, what I call the destruction box and you can find the extended and you can find the gem stars and you can find the newsletter if you wanna sign up for that. Woof. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.